Tell us about this beautiful KW. It's a 2005 W900 with a 132 inch sleeper put up against an extended day cab. It's got a 600 cat under the hood with a PDI system on it. She's just about 735 horsepower. Uh, shower, toilet, 46 inch flat screen. It's a fully loaded, comfortable truck. That is all motor, my friend. All motor, if you look. There's no waste gain on the turbo. She'll boost out about 40, 42 pounds pressure. What is your name, brother? My name's Joe. Joe? Yes, sir. Hey, man. What are you buying today in the Mecca I uh, got a bug deflector, stainless steel, for my W9. So, Mikey got you to get it, huh? Is that what happened? Did he threaten yeah. you to get it, brother? A couple months ago, he broke my hand. <laughs> <laughs> and then bring the truck up, right? Uh, well, well, it'll be better. Try it over there, whatever. Yeah. Because, uh, are, are you sleeping here today? I'm not sure what I'm doing yet. I'm in limbo. Oh, I hear that. We're just hanging out. Look at you. You didn't know you were a superstar, right? No, I didn't. Yeah, I'm telling you, brother. I'm just a regular Joe Schmo. Hey, never that, brother. Never <laughs> that. You know, that's so interesting because, you know, bed buggers, we go ahead and we get these big sleepers because for the same thing, we go to residentials yep. and we're on the road nine, ten months at a time sometimes. I got friends that do all that bed bugging. I got friends that do the jet engines and all general flight. But... Yeah. If you get in one of these big trucks, you'll never get back into a regular one. So here's the big question. Uh, is the turn radius that bad or no? You need a football <laughs> <It is> field, <laughs> especially a W9. Oh, man. It's got 330-inch wheelbase. Wow. So you put the 53 up against that, it don't turn. I heard that, brother. So again, that. common sense. Oh, I love that. I love that. So it's just one of those things where I'm excited to see this. I can see the truck over here already. You know, truckers are looking because they already know you're a superstar, brother. Yeah, it gets a lot of attention. Yeah, that's cool. I love it. Yeah. Now this, I feel like, this is where we can have our conversations, right? <laughs> Hanging out here. It's comfortable. Uh, you got a big refrigerator, which don't come in normal trucks. Big freezer. It's not just a microwave, it's a convention oven. You can grill a steak in there, make biscuits and gravy in the morning. Um, remote control for a rooftop vent. Look at you, look at you. It's got wow, everything. This is a full fridge. Yeah, it's a full size freezer. Refrigerator. Man, I love it, brother. And it's a convention oven, so it's got metal in it. Beautiful. You can make a steak. I love it, I love it. And 46 inch flat screen. I'm telling you, brother. It's comfortable. I'm, I'm so happy for you, you know. It's got a surround sound system on it. Of course it does. Behind you, there's a shower toilet. Oh yeah, can we see what that yes, looks like? Yes, you can. Wow, this is great. This is great. You know, I'll be honest. I love when just really humble and amazing people <laughs> that work hard do great. I'm old school. Hey, you deserve everything, brother. Yeah, I mean, again, all kind of hot, cold running water. Uh, bed folds down. The dinette goes down. The bed comes down. It's a full size bed, very thick and comfortable. I love it. I love uh, it. Like an RV, you got rooftop heat AC unit. There's a generator on the truck, so wow. we do not. I do not idle at all. Zero really? idle time on the motor. Wow! Fire the generator up, and it burns a pint of diesel an hour. Can I sit in? Uh, can I be your road dog for five seconds? Sure. And then. Look at this. <laughs> so what is this baby called? W900 Kenworth. You didn't name her? No, no, never named her. <laughs> All the mother truckers, man, we gotta come up with a name for my guy. You must, do you feel this cool every day? Sometimes. 
<laughs> Sometimes I enjoy. I still enjoy what I do. So that's what I was gonna say. Cause you know, you know, we did talk earlier. The business has changed. Yeah. But let's talk about why you still do it. I enjoy it. I still enjoy meeting people, seeing the country, getting paid to see the country. Oh. And you know, with the COVID going on, it's a little more risky. We can make a nice ride around. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's just talk. We're hanging out. And uh, you still meet people, though. And i have always been a people person. But if you look in the mirrors, it, we don't even have a trailer on. And this baby don't turn. I feel like you already have a trailer on. <laughs> it's where you got to get the common sense of what the truck can and cannot do. And you got to learn a truck this size, you don't want to get on the wrong road. One, you can never get turned around. Two, you might not fit. Three, you got a lot of stuff up on the roof. You don't want branches or trees hitting. There are ACs up there. There's satellite TV up there. You want to protect your investment. I love it. I love it. You know, uh, talk about, you know, uh, uh, anything you want to talk about. Anything interesting about yourself, brother, that people could know about you. You know, uh, life before trucking, anything, or what has trucking done for you or your, uh, you know. Gave me your, the opportunity, you know, home, take care of my children, buy toys, um, into Harleys very much, into motorsports. Uh, used to have a couple 87 Grand Nationals. 87 Grand Nationals? But one on tour all around New England. Only had 3,000 miles on it when I bought it. Never even had its first oil change. And then I had another one that we built for Street Strip and uh, it was running nine seconds on the track. Nine seconds? Out of a six cylinder. Out of a six cylinder. <laughs> Forget a Honda Civic. That, that <laughs> wasn't existing back in the day. Oh, that's great, brother. But that Black Magic car, that was all lit. I love it. I love it. So these days, what do you live for? Ah, uh, retirement right now. I'm trying. I'm figuring about five more years I'm going to retire. Uh, that's great. I'm, I'm glad that I've been able to interview you. And a lot of guys well, are I like, can. let me know when you retire. I'll buy your truck. <laughs> Everybody likes the horsepower. You can't get that old school engine no more. I mean... Does it look, uh, I mean, if we pop the hood, does it look a little different? Uh, it's all motor. It's all motor? All motor. There's, you'll see it, we'll pop the hood. It's a uh, big ass, oops. No, you can <laughs> say whatever you like. You can say it's whatever you can, big, curse, anything you like. big ass cat. I love it. And we'll pull up over near the crown shop where you guys can come and spend some money and get good service. And you know, I love Mikey, you know. And it's not even about spending money. You can go in there and I just have a good conversation. Yeah, that's that's the thing. He's another people person, very down to earth. You know, that's why I, 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 I partner up and I have my studio in the Mecca Chrome shop because we just hang out. Yeah. It's, it's not a threatening place. It no, really isn't. It makes it more comfortable and relaxing. No pressure. Don't feel like you got to do this or do that. You don't have to do anything. You can just enjoy. I love it. I love it. That's great, brother. Oh, we're going to sneak up right over here. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. It doesn't look like we'll block anybody. No, we'll be good. This truck's a beast. For a lot of people that are new to trucking, you know, they're, they're always looking for insight. Uh -huh. And, you know, you seem like someone that would have some insight. How many years have you been doing this? 30 years out here. 30 years. 30 years. Why you look like 34, brother? I appreciate that compliment. You know? I'm 53. 53? Yeah. So, basically, your whole entire life you've been trucking. Self-taught. 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 Back My then... <laughs> Uh, I was 18 years old, mechanic for rider, and they're like, you got to pull that truck in to do an oil change. Taught myself how to drive. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. So, uh, back then, they just did they just yeah, give you the CDL? Yeah. Back then, it was a class three, and we went to school, but it was not like it is today. Oh, really? Yeah. Any advice? 30 years experience. What's the one advice you would give your own son or daughter? Don't do this. <laughs> I love it. I love it. No, no, no. What, what? It's not what it used to be. Back in the day, it was awesome. That's my phone. No, take the business call if you got to take it. Hey, this is real world right now. My daughter. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Sarah. Tell her she's on YouTube. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's good. Back. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, but it's, it's one of those things where, you know, I get a lot of people that have been in the industry a long time, and they say that, you know. Oh, no. Get her on. Hey, sweetie. Yeah, I got the parts. 
Yeah, everything's good. I'm actually doing an interview with this gentleman right now for YouTube. She's on. He's on YouTube right now. I'm on YouTube right now. They can hear your voice. <laughs> they can hear you. Here, put your speaker. Say hello, Sierra. Hey, what's up? Come to Coral Springs Honda. Buy a car. Oh, hey, okay, hey, hey, hey. You know, You're I. Slick. Hey, I love that. I love that. She, she, hey, that was quick. Yeah, she's good. That was quick. Well, Honestly speaking, right? Uh -huh. Because that's what the channel's about, just saying how you feel. Right. So I get a lot of guys that 25, 30 years experience, and they'll say not to get into it. It changed. And what's changed about it? Steering wheel holders. Steering, okay, let's let's talk some shit right now. What, what's the steering wheel holder? A person with that headset on, the foot up on the dashboard, holding the steering wheel like this, and don't even know how to use mirrors, and stuck in that middle lane at 64 miles an hour. Okay, now, my, my question to you is, just say uh, you don't have a way to provide for your family. You're, you're making $1,200 a month. Can you make more than that in trucking, though? Oh, yeah. You got to go get it. It's not going to come to you. You got to go out there and find it. I've been out here 30 years. I used to be a fleet owner. Gave that up because it was a headache. How many trucks? Five. Five trucks. I used to be a private carrier for a company called Quad Graphics out of Wisconsin, which was the, or still is, the fourth largest printing company in the world. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So. All you, team operations. So, you know, if, if someone is in that situation uh, where they they would like to change their life and make a little bit more money than, you know, one, two, three thousand dollars a month. You think sure. they could do that in trucking? Oh, yes. Yeah. You so, hey, money. maybe it might be right for some people then. You can make money, but you got to go get it. It's not going to come to you and you need common sense. So what advice for the common sense so people know what to get into? Because they don't know, you know, they're, they're first generation truckers that are getting into this. Don't be the steering wheel holder. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Don't when you're trying to back in, you got, I see it on TikTok and YouTube. There's guys videotaping. Hey, look at this guy back in. Instead well, of helping him. Day, we'd open the door and get out and help you. Oh, I hear that. You know, and the worst thing is get a CB radio. It's not just for communication and blabber mouth and no back talking. You can get a lot of safety advice of what's up ahead. Yeah, all the stuff that happened in Texas, right? Texas, Wyoming's a very bad state. I-80 with the weather and everything. I was coming down last night. I-95 was backed up probably seven miles for a truck fire. Well, I'm trying to get on the radio telling everybody to get in the left lane. Nobody's responding. All these trucks are in the right lane. And they're going to learn the hard way. Because when they get finally get up there an hour later, they should have been in the left lane. If they had a CB, they'd know about it. Yeah. Hey, that's great advice. That's great advice. dollars man. Any, right. any other stuff that should they get besides the CB? Learn how to keep stuff in your truck. Oh, tell me about that. A screwdriver, a Phillips head, roll of duct tape, cutting pliers, gloves, stuff, little maintenance stuff. I see you guys, I see the guys on the side of the road waiting for road service, and it's a five-minute fix where you can just get yourself moving again. It's back in the day, hey, man, you need some help. That don't exist no more. I got you. I got you. No, I appreciate that. You know, I hate to get into your business, but what type of trucking do you do these days? I do general freight, but I'm more, because my truck is so big, the company I'm with knows how big and heavy I am, uh -huh. and they know where I like to run. No, I got you. Now, grab that. Grab it. Grab it. You know, today we're just kind of bullshitting. You're helping people out. I appreciate you because a lot of guys especially with 30 years experience, uh, you're not going to stop to talk to, uh, to somebody. So luckily I'm here. I do. You do. I miss, I miss human communication. I mean, I remember back in the day, we used to pull in the trucks off, park your truck, go in, shower, have a meal. You sit down, there'd be a line of truckers. You know, sitting at the counter. Back in the day, we had phones on the wall. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember that. And uh, we'd have normal conversations. That does not exist. It's all this fast food now. There's no more restaurants, no more socializing. Regardless of the COVID or not, there's no socializing. Everybody's got their blinders on, and it's sad. No, I hear you, brother. I hear you. It's sad. And so, you know, if you guys are going to get into this business, just know that it's changed. Uh, if you have to get into it for money reasons to provide for your family, you, you could do it. But it sounds like from my man here, be you got to go out. Be courteous. Be respectful. Yeah. You know, try to be. I mean, if you're my age or whatever, I was raised old school and I, I keep it on and I'm bringing it on to my kids. So hopefully it keeps going. I love that. I love that. Now, here's the big question. Sure. Why the hell do you need such a big ass sleeper? Uh, I haul pharmaceutical products once in a while. And with the, there's like five GPSs hidden on the truck and trailer. And you get a map and they tell you where to go, where to park, where to sleep. And it may be just an empty parking lot. So with the shower, the toilet, the oven, the, all the comforts at home, if they tell you to sit there for 10 hours, you're comfortable.
That is all motor, my friend. All motor. If you look, there's no waste gain on the turbo. She'll boost out about 40, 42 pounds pressure. Wow. Wow. Out top, Mount Eagle, a lot of the big hills, the truck with over 700 horsepower, she'll top them at 60, 62. Wow. Yeah, it doesn't die on hills. I tell you. It's a beast. It's a beast. When you said all motor. It's all motor. People gotta love that one. <laughs> well, brother, thank you so much. Very nice meeting you. Nice God meeting. bless. Everybody stay safe and enjoy the beautiful weather. I tell you. We are the music makers. And we are the dreamers of dreams. Thank you.